Harry. Like... Clara. <laughs> Good boy, Pascal. Based on the information gathered, it is recommended that Pascal's data be formatted and integrated into the base network so that he doesn't threaten the property or safety of the camp's residents. I know this is the most sensible option, but Pascal... How are the repairs going? Welcome, outsider. Thanks to Clara's hard work, the repairs were completed successfully. Yes. Awesome. The little fella is alive and well again. It's just that some parts aren't completely back to normal yet. Oh, that's a shame. Pascal? Is that his name? Yeah. Mr. Sparg and I spent a long time coming up with a suitable name. Ew. Pascal. Good. I am called Name. Oh, look. Huh. Pascal is greeting you. It's just, his speech is still a little confusing. Uh. The examination conducted earlier revealed that the information stored in this robot's core module is incompatible with the new hardware. Furthermore, many defective networks were detected in the core module. A significant amount of muddled information with unknown content was discovered during a deep scan. Ooh. Simply put, Pascal's brain is filled with junk information of unknown origin. This junk, along with hardware that's incompatible with his core, caused him to lose his ability to communicate. Fortunately, apart from the language module, Pascal is still functioning properly. However, the robot still has a 44.7% chance of malfunctioning. It's recommended uh. that Pascal's data be formatted and integrated into the base network. Like Laura loses personality? Mr. Sparog, I understand, but I think Pascal is different. He possesses a quality that other small robots don't have. In some ways, I believe he's similar to Mr. Sparog. I can't overlook this unique quality. Mr. Sparog, could you give me a little more time? I want to investigate this further. If we don't find anything, you can integrate Pascal into the network. Understood, Clara. I respect your wish. In the meantime, I'll make sure that this robot doesn't endanger other people or property. So what should we do now, Claire? I'd like to recap what I discussed with Mr. Sparog earlier. Okay. Let's begin by doing exactly what we did before. Find a new shell, put Pascal's core in it, and see if the hardware is compatible. Correct. According to the analysis, Pascal's original hardware was a direwolf or grizzly model. If we can put its core into the appropriate shell, there's an 87.3% chance that its language module will return to normal. There are Sounds all good. kinds of abandoned robots in the machine graveyard. Let's go take a look. All right. Slices of life. Eh. Okay, you guys saw it as fast as I did. All right, so we need to go to the machine gate graveyard. All right. So we'll teleport here. Looks like we got to go downstairs and then walk. Across the bridge. For those that have played this. <laughs> Over here we click on the switch and then Dan Hang can take the elevator. And there's another switch to go up. It's the same old place. Everywhere you look. There are robots that have lost the ability to function. Yeah, sad, isn't it? Look at this one. What happened? Like he was in a war. Hey, big sister, take a look over there. Here? <laughs> yeah, it's a robot. The ground. This is an automaton direwolf, but oh. it appears to have been modified. It's most likely another abandoned robot pet. Although Maybe. it doesn't seem to be functioning, 
You should still be cautious when approaching it. That's right. Eliminate, eliminate. Intruder detected. Oh no, it's still active. Watch out. Okay. We'll survive. It won't last long. Be a couple of hits. This big fella is completely out of control. Maybe longer than a couple of hits. You won't get away. All right, just put all him down and take his chest. Set up. This is double speed. That's sorry, I was a healer, but I had to run a Claire who I got, so I'm gonna have to level both of them. Nothing major. Quick. All right, let's see what's going to happen next. Claire, uh, here it is. What's... This is the core. I'll pack it up and take it with us. Okay, be careful. Hmm. Then all that's left is to drag the shell back. Okay. All right, leave it to me. You it's should take okay. a break. I'm strong too. I'll tuck the core in a little tighter so it doesn't fall out. Okay. You're taking the core Judging too? from how active the robot was, its core isn't just scrap metal. It should be repairable. Okay. I can't let any robot go to waste if it can be repaired. So I'm going to try to fix them all. That's very nice of you. So, should we fix Pascal or this one Let's first? Let's start with Pascal. We found him first, after all. Also, like Mr. Sparrow warned, if he's not supervised, he might cause trouble. Okay. You know, I have a large safe full of core modules that I've gathered around the underworld. Ooh. Every day, I try to figure out how to repair some of them and return the robots to normal. Except, there are a lot more than Mr. Sparg and I can handle on our own. Uh, but, I'm sure I can fix them all one day. We can't relax yet. We must work harder. Yeah, you should work a little smarter, but you're a good kid, Claire. Thank you. It makes me happy to hear that. Ah, uh, I was talking so much that I totally lost track of time. No problem. Let's head back. Otherwise, Mr. Sparg and Pascal will get worried. Okay. All right, so they teleported us back outside the base. Well, or inside the base, rather. We just have to walk up and talk to Claire. Claire, I am back. What do you have to report? Mr. Sparg, we're back. Yay. Welcome back. Return. Clara. Ribbit! Fail! You're... Welcome back, Clara. I've completed my further analysis of this robot. Okay, what have you discovered? Conclusion. It is impossible to determine the time of manufacture, purpose, and ownership of this robot. During my analysis, I extracted the robot's serial number and searched for it in the Underworld's Automaton database. Oh? According to my search, there are 32 automatons with the same serial number as this one. Even after eliminating the scrapped ones, three automatons still match the keyword description. Failure. Three. Back. Rivet one. Fail. Here. So, is Pascal trying to say it something? Here, so. I'm not sure what he's trying to say, though. Uh. While we were talking, the robot's failure rate increased. We should activate alert mode. Alert mode? 
Tempering. Tempering. Back. Back. Back to Rivet. Fire. Fire. Uh oh. Spell is becoming yes, increasingly PTSD. unstable. We should change his shell. Good idea. Alright, just confirm. Pascal, give him the item. I'm going to change your shell. Don't worry. It won't hurt. Alright, just do it. Player transferred Pascal's core module into a new robot shell. Back. 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 Back to Rivet. 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 Wow. Return. Waiting. Continue. Repair. Waiting. Failure. Waiting. Still uh. not functioning properly? What's wrong, Pascal? Watch out, Clara. Uh oh. Failure. 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 Pascal? No. He's running away. Failure. Heck. Save yourself, Claire. Pascal. Did he run off towards Rivet Town? Let's follow him. Okay. No, Clara. Just leave it to me. I'll order the robots to pursue this one. No, Mr. Svarog. Please, don't. Aww. Please leave Pascal to me. It was my decision to keep him in the first place, so I must take full responsibility. There's growing up. I'm certain Pascal won't do anything to harm anyone. But if something goes wrong... Please let me handle this myself. Please, Mr. Svarog. Okay, let Claire handle it. That's right. This all started with me and can only end with me. Yep. I'm certain Pascal would never do anything to harm anyone. Clara, please tell me how you came to this conclusion. Oh. Pascal possesses a quality that other small robots lack. It's kind of similar to the emotions we humans have. I've only ever seen this quality in Mr. Svara. I feel oh. a warmth from these emotions. I feel drawn to this quality and try to respond back in my own way. But I'm also aware that not all emotions in this world are positive. If there are too many negative emotions that go unchecked, then someone needs to step in and stop them. The only okay. things that can stop such negative emotions are rationality and responsibility. This is a valuable lesson I've learned from Mr. Svarov. Hmm. Mr. Svarov, I want to help Pascal overcome those negative emotions. I want to take on this responsibility. That way... I won't have to hide behind Mr. Svarag anymore. I understand, Clara. I support your decision. I won't intervene unless the situation risks spinning out of control. Thank you, Mr. Right. Svarag. So, let's go. Okay. So, we just have to go find Pascal. Let's bring up the map, see if we're still even on here. Nope, Pascal went to River Town. That was quick. So we can teleport. Teleport down here. And then. To the entrance, and then we'll give it a better. You know, I don't want to just teleport to the. House right, right to him. Look, Pascal's over there. Who's standing next to it? Oh. Pascal, who did this to you? Pain. Wow. Hurt. Pain. Hurt. Pain. Hurt. Good. Hurt. Pain. Clara, get away. This is a fragmentum creature. It's extremely dangerous. Ooh. A fragmentum creature? What are you talking about? Hmm. So, have fragmental creatures evolved to this level? How is that possible? Pascal is obviously a robot, just like you. Could it have malfunctioned? It appears to be normal. Please step back. I shall eliminate this fragmentum creature. No, no, no. No, it's 
It's going to attack Pascal. We have to stop it. No, we don't want to fight. Now we're going to... Wow. Oh, no. It seems to think we're its enemies as well. That's not good. I don't have any lightning characters, but I don't think it really matters. Time for a plan. <laughs> <laughs> the dead return! Still weak to imaginary damage, so we should. And we got Himiko, that's all that mattered. Himiko is awesome. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Okay, you're gonna charge me, but so it's gonna win for us. <laughs> I like that one. Let's see what Dan can do. Uh, not a lot of damage there. Normally. Repay. The dead return. Thank you, Luce. Heal. Quick. And boom. All right. Let's see what happens. Luckily, the patrol robot and Pascal's cores are still intact. The big fella shell is only slightly dented. Thank you for your help. The Anytime. only thing that puzzles me is why the big fella mistook Pascal for a fragmentum creature. Hmm. Hmm. I can't figure it out. Well, let's not worry about that now. Okay, Claire. Anyway, I'll take this core back and examine it. Now, let's insert Pascal's core into the big fella's shell. Uh oh. That's gonna change a lot of stuff. Claire transferred Pascal's core module into the scrapped automation Language grizzly. Language module. Connect. Connecting. Oh. Connection. Complete. A little bit better. Testing. Verifying. All modules working. Connected. Yay. Welcome back, everyone. Finally. Pascal has been waiting. Pascal, you're back to normal. I'm asking why you were still in parts. Oh, I almost forgot. Thank you for reminding me. Pascal, could you please... Uh, explain why you were stealing parts? Collecting parts. Returning to workshop. Where? Workshop? Oh, do you mean the tempering workshop in Rivet Town? Been waiting. Repair. Volo, please. Pascal. Okay. Ah, Pascal ran off. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Direction. I think he wants us to follow him. You got it. Let's go. All right, so we're just going to go around the corner, it looks like. All right. Police real quick. Let's go and let's get the materials. Oh, Trotter appears. Be pretty quick for one or two. We can see as its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. I like that attack, too. You won't get away. This is double speed. I wonder if, um, and is, yeah, well, I wonder why. He should be strong against fire since he's throwing water, technically. I think this place used to be a restaurant. One time, I found a bunch of canned food here. <laughs> the vagrants in the camp were so happy. Well, that's nice However, of you. However, I've always wondered. 
the light here? Why is it still on? This place has clearly been abandoned for a long time. Oh. Also, there's dust all over the place, but none of the equipment appears to be deteriorating. Hmm, I've been wondering about that too. Anyway, someone must be looking after this place. But who? <laughs> good question. Why? Another good question. I right, just go over here and <laughs> boom, get some credits. Right, we're gonna have to fight this thing real quick. The dead returns. Quick. <laughs> <laughs> Else over, so it's nice and fast, just the way I like it. Consequences are mine to bear. All right, got another one there. Then we got something going on here. Oh, Clara, there he is. welcome back, Rivet Town. Look, isn't it shiny? Job, Pascal, done, nice. Hey. Could it be? Pascal has been repairing this abandoned town? Looks like it. Pascal, repair, indeed. Waiting, been everyone. You. Have you been waiting for us? Waiting, everyone. Pascal, non stop. Leave, everyone. Come back one day. Oh. Has Pascal been waiting for Rivet Town's evacuated residents to return? No. So. Hmm. Have you been repairing the town? Repair. Been every day. Pascal, use, can, everyone return. Hopefully. Pascal has been looking after the town so that everyone can go back to their previous lives when they return. Oh, yeah, I can gather that. So, is this why you're stealing parts? parts? Pascal, collect non stop. Rivet Town, repair non stop. It seems he... that Pascal was stealing parts because he wants to repair the town. Yep, Claire. So, I don't think he can repair much in that form. Workshop, tempering, here, base, Pascal, secret. Oh, do tell. Store. Enemies not here. Place safe. Scared. No need, everybody. Ah, this appears to be the secret base where Pascal keeps the parts. I see. Although we now know why he took them, there are still many unanswered questions. For example... Why does he want to repair right. the town? But I don't think Pascal will give us a straightforward answer on this one. Hmm. I wonder if we can find any clues here. Hey, we can look Rivetown. around. Live, Clara. Sure. Uh, feel free, please. Okay. So we'll go look, look around, investigate. Book pages and letters all carefully cut and put aside. Whose content varies from tales for children. These pages are so neatly cut out. Oh, and they smell like geomero fuel. Is there someone here in Rivet Town doing this? Who or knows? could Pascal have collected the pages and put them together? I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> Get some trash. Let's check this. No kind of power thing. Relay. Charger station. A well maintained CRT display device. Though covered by some dust, this it still must be functions. This the result of Pascal's meticulous repairs. But the little fella doesn't really need the monitor, does he? Hmm. Hey, those look like handprints on the side of the cabinet. Human handprints. Could this monitor have been recently used by someone? Possible. What if somebody's human brain was uploaded there somehow? That would be interesting. Huh? What's this? A diary? Like wow! It. 
such neat handwriting. No, wait a minute. I think this was printed onto the cover. Could it be Pascal's? <laughs> the page displays a neatly printed, printed typeface, not handwritten, and it appears to be bound in later. All right, then we got three, six, seven, airframe damage log, backup failure, manual. Re Looks to be some kind of log of what he's fixing. Town guard automation count, possible reason, backup power. Okay. There's part two, handwriting. Same type of stuff. Parts collections with test lists. Here's another one. This one's a log you how you was attacked. More more attacks. This one talks about noise. Collecting parts. Get gibberish records to fill the rest of the documents. There's no longer any need to continue reading. It all makes sense so now. That's what happened. Let me think. Hmm. How about we go over Pascal's whole story again from the start? Okay. Try to sort out the whole story. His backup power was activated after an incident in Rivertown and woke up to discover that Rivertown has been abandoned. Okay. He decided to collect parts, repair the town, and wait for everyone to return. Around that time, Pascal became sentient. You, recap you recapitulate your thoughts to Claire. That is correct. And Claire says I'm correct. So, Pascal used to be a robot guardian of Rivet Town. That way? Pascal's backup power was activated for some reason shortly after the residents were evacuated. Right. It woke up to discover that the whole place had been abandoned. So it decided to collect parts, repair the town, and wait for everyone to return. Correct. However, for some reason, Pascal keeps getting attacked by his fellow robots because the automatons think he's a fragmentum creature. Maybe Pascal has gained sentience? I'm not sure, but I suspect Pascal's tormented sense of self stems from him being constantly attacked by his fellow robots. Possible. The module used to detect emotions was frequently damaged, eventually turning him into a small robot that did nothing but collect parts. Hmm. So that's probably what happened? At least, that's my theory. Still, that doesn't explain why Pascal is being treated as a fragmentum creature. Hmm. I wonder what Servo, Servog would say. Pascal, why do your peers keep rejecting you? Big sister, Clara, tour, enjoyable, is it? Pascal, collect parts, ready, continue, or wait, instruction, next. Okay, he still wants to collect the parts. Pascal's consciousness does not appear to have returned to the level shown in the diary. Okay. Big sister, Clara, Rivet Town, resident. Pascal, protect everybody. That's good. Thank you for the protection. I see. Thank you so much, Pascal. You can stop gathering parts for the time being. Just stay here and wait for us to return and give you your next orders, all right? All right. Pascal affirmative. Be good. Wait. Okay, Pascal. Good robot. Let's go back to Mr. Sparrow and talk about what to do next. Okay. So we're going to bring out the map. Go to the robot settlement and I'll teleport. And then... Enter the safe zone and we'll go talk to him with Clara, of course. She's already there. Filling the beans for us. What's up, homie? So, that's what happened, Mr. Svarov. 
But there's one thing I don't understand. Why is Pascal being treated as a fragmentum creature? This robot has been repairing itself using fragmentum contaminated components for an extended period of time. Therefore, automatons connected to the base network recognize it as a fragmentum creature. This is a minor issue that can be resolved by replacing components. Do not worry. Okay, that's interesting. I see. Has Mr. Sparag ever witnessed a similar incident anywhere in the network? No. Network connected automatons regularly clear out muddled information in their core modules. The likelihood of a robot gaining sentience beyond control is approximately 0.12%. For those oh. that aren't connected to the network, the chance climbs to 3.23%. Which isn't tiny, Please so... keep in mind that these probabilities are only estimates. Over the past 700 years, this has never happened in the underworld. Oh, just is. So you don't know what to do Actually, either? Actually, I do. Contrary to popular belief, improbable events that are easily disregarded frequently result in catastrophes. Astrophes. Given that automatons can still develop emotion modules using their own processing power, I have a backup plan in place. Oh, fine. Mr. Sparag always takes all factors into account and handles problems logically. I can't do that myself yet. But robots so, too. What should we do with Pascal? It is recommended that Pascal's data be formatted and integrated into the base network. I agree. I will maintain the robot's core module and repair its hardware once it has been integrated into the base network. There is a greater than 97.2% chance that this robot will return to normal after the bad sectors and muddled information are removed. However... However... But what about Pascal's emotional intelligence? Once the formatting is complete, the robot's emotional intelligence will vanish. Oh, yes. <sighs> Is that... there no other option? This option minimizes both internal and external losses. Although Clara's account indicates that the robot is relatively stable, the assessment based on the computations shows that both the risk of Pascal crashing and the amount of muddled information are increasing when it approaches 100%. Right. I understand. But I don't think I'm ready to give up on Pascal just yet. Okay, what do We've you want to suggest? We've helped Pascal find compatible hardware. If we can eliminate the muddled information without damaging the sectors linked to his emotional intelligence, you know the chances of that are incredibly low, Clara. How far we got now? Well, how do you generally get rid of muddled information? There's only one way to completely remove muddled information. Overwriting. Oh. When the muddled information is removed, the base network will create a comprehensive backup and overwrite the data stored in the corresponding sector. Huh. Okay. Why can't Maybe we just... there's another way. Oh. We can install a lock in Pascal's core. Hmm, Clear the redundant data and locate the core sectors that are still intact. Then we can install a, a new suite of operational programs. This suite of programs can regulate Pascal's behavior and prevent him from hurting people. With this it's method, possible. we might be able to retain as much of Pascal's emotional intelligence as possible while keeping him out of trouble. If we can keep Pascal's emotional intelligence, I might be able to teach him to treat people with kindness. What do you think, Mr. Sparag? Hmm. This procedure is theoretically viable, but there are risks. It will not eliminate the muddled information. Additionally, the newly installed programs may be later contaminated by it. In other words, because we cannot monitor the robot outside of the network, this approach can only guarantee Pascal's stability for a brief period of time. The probability of the robot crashing again is around... And if that happens, I'll do it again. And if it happens again, I'll go through the exact same steps. I'll guide him and fix him. No matter how many times it happens, I'll be there to help Pascal. Oh. But... 
He will forget about you, Clara. He will repeatedly forget you, as well as all the emotions and memories he has previously accumulated. His That's limited nice. storage capacity will eventually become completely overwritten by infinite copies of muddled information in an everlasting cycle. All of me, sir, me, Claire the said. The challenge will be tougher than you can possibly imagine. Are you sure this is the path you want to take? Come on, Claire. There, there, Clara. There's no need to rush to a conclusion. The variable in Bellabog's fate is still here. Perhaps she can suggest the best solution. Oh. Okay. The variable. I. I trust your judgment. Why do I, I trust have to pick? your decision? Hmm. What should I pick? Both have provided their solutions. We're worried Spire about her safety. That formatting Pascal's data and integrating him into the base's network is necessary. But doing so will deprive Pascal of his special emotional intelligence. Although it may sound cruel, this approach best prevents Pascal from posing a threat. Which is more important. Clara thinks she can use programming to control Pascal's behavior and prevent him from causing harm while keeping his emotional intelligence intact. However, this doesn't address the root of the issue, and it also requires Clara to devote much time and effort to Pascal. Although Clara will use Pascal's emotional intelligence to help guide him in the right direction, Pascal could still go out of control in the future. Yep, that's possible too. In addition, Pascal has a history of stealing, even though he never caused any harm to anyone. This is also a major concern. What is most important here? I need to think carefully and choose one solution and then persuade the other person. I think we'll have to go with Servog on this one. Talk to Clara. Oops. Clara? Uh, what Claire? should we do with Pascal? I think we should go to Servog's idea. Oh, I figured you'd say that. Safety is paramount. What? I'd like to know why you went with Mr. Svarog's solution. Sure. Uh, his solution's the safest. I understand that, but, but... I think that anyone with emotions should be treated with dignity, regardless of whether they're a human or robot. But I'm confident is it real that emotion? I can prevent Pascal from stealing and harming others. However... I respect your point of view. I admit I might not be as rational as Mr. Svarg and don't think things through as much. So, could you please talk more about your point of view? I'd like to hear some different perspectives. Sure. Pascal I said I will you. stay with Pascal until the end, but I'm actually scared too. Okay. I can't imagine it. How will I feel when I have to face Pascal after being forgotten so many times? Have to put what him if down. I feel like giving up? What happens then? Exactly. Perhaps it's best to let go now, while my feelings for Pascal aren't as strong. Answer I appreciate you taking the time to speak with me. This decision is much harder than I expected, but I finally made my mind up. And? If you feel it's necessary, we'll do what Mr. Svarog suggested. But until you're sure, I'll keep trying to find a way to save Pascal's emotions and memories. That's a deal. Tell me when you're ready to make a decision. Sure. My choice will have a direct impact on the outcome. I should mull it over. Hmm. So let's try talking to Sarag. Okay. I need some. All right, let's talk to him and see what he Clara says. I propose that you should choose outsider. I respect her wish. Have you made a decision about how to handle Pascal? 
Can you give Claire's idea some thought? I had anticipated this possibility. Tell me what you think. Uh, Pascal, similar to you I now? I understand. You believe that Pascal's emotional intelligence, derived from his own computational power, is no different from mine. I am okay. currently still unable to conduct a thorough analysis of human empathy. However, I recognize the importance of respecting such emotions. Clara believes in you as a variable. Either way, your input will be taken into account. I'll keep gathering information and calculating new possibilities. Do you have any other insights, outsider? Hmm. Clara's determination cannot be underestimated. Clara's determination. This entry contains information that is difficult to quantify and may cause computational difficulties. Nonetheless, real experience has demonstrated that Clara's determination can often overcome all challenges. To ensure that Clara grows up well, I've always avoided overburdening her. But if Clara insists on taking on such responsibilities, then I have no right to object. There's no need to discuss this any further. If you insist on using Clara's solution, the Svarag base network will completely support you. Okay, thank My you for support. My choice will have a direct impact on the outcome. I should mull it over. Guess I'll go with Clara. We'll go with Clara's idea. I don't want her hating Pascal, me. Pascal, we're back. Oh, here's Pascal. Frog. Good. Waiting. Waiting. Further instructions. Good. Now, Pascal. please be a good boy and don't move. Pascal, we've got Mr. Svarg to help treat your illness. He'll help you recover. Illness? What is illness? Uh-oh. But Pascal not move? Recover? How? Mr. Svarog, let's get started. Understood. The protective programs are ready for installation. All right, let's see what happens. I hope I made the right decision. Is it done? The programs were successfully installed. The robot will require offline maintenance and will be unable to communicate for some time. We can return to it later. Okay, we I have see. to come back. In that case, let's go back to the base. I think it's over. I'll check in with Clara later to see what's up. All right, do that. Wow, we finished. Clara's become the visitor in the express. You might be awesome. And we got 60 solar jades. Old friends meet yet again. Pretty cool. All right, let's go. All right, I want to talk about Pasco. So, what do you want to talk about? Actually, I thought a lot about it. Okay. I don't. I just don't understand. What is Pasco? Other robots think Pasco is a fragmental creation. Mister Mister S thinks Pasco is a normal robot. Pasco doesn't even know what it is itself. I think Pasco could even be a human. What do you think? I'm gonna say it's a human. Pasco is a living human being. Think so, big sister? I think so too, but... Fragmental creature, robot, human. What is the difference between these? Some fragmental creatures can speak and behave like humans. Wow, Mr. S looks like a robot. He can also speak, think, even express emotions, just like us. So, how do we tell what what is us and what is them? Hmm. Think. Empathy? Well, humans have the ability to identify and empathize with other types of creatures. 
There. So that's how it is. Maybe Mr. Pascal and Mr. S. Maybe they're all living, breathing humans too. I don't feel so lost anymore. Thank you, big sister. And she did the blue face of some sort. Give me any other things? 